So dark matter is a new form of, of matter that we need to describe the observations in, in our universe. And an example where we uh, see the need for dark matter, uh, for example, the, uh, the rotational velocities in, in galaxies, or also from imprints to the cosmic microwave radiation, we see that we need uh, dark matter. So we know that dark matter exists, but uh, we have very little knowledge of what it actually is and what kind of uh, particles it consists of. So we know um, that dark matter is not very strongly interacting because otherwise we would have observed it already. Um, we know also that dark matter is stable because dark matter was created at the uh, beginning of the universe and we know it is still around today so it has to be stable and we also know that the velocity of dark matter cannot be very high so it has to be much smaller than the speed of light. IceCube can search for dark matter indirectly that means dark matter interacts with each other and produces standard model particles and these standard model particles then uh, decay and also as a, as a result of these decays we also expect to get neutrinos. So with IceCube we have searched at different uh, places where we expect dense dark matter accumulations. Um, this could be at the center of the earth or center of the sun or just in the galactic dark matter halo and we have looked for all of these and so far we haven't uh, found any any signal for dark matter. So the dark matter signal coming from the sun uh, consists of usually low energy neutrinos but uh, we know that they're always coming from the sun so we can just focus on that region and, and look for neutrinos coming from there. Another example is uh, dark matter annihilation in the galactic center. So this type of signal consists of higher energy neutrinos and uh, most of the signal comes from, from the center of our galaxy. So by analyzing the energy and the direction of these neutrinos, we can uh, constrain the, these signals. IceCube searches are at the forefront of dark matter searches. We have some of the most uh, stringent constraints on the properties of dark matter um, set with the ice cube uh, detector and over the next years we will uh, continue uh, the search uh, for dark matter with ice cube. Uh, in particular so in ice cube we, we have the unexplained high energy uh, neutrino signal and it's very well possible that also in these energetic neutrino events, there's also a dark matter signal hiding. So we have to accumulate more data or better build a larger detector to, to understand uh, where the highest energy neutrinos are coming from. And if, for example, they are coming from decaying dark matter or uh, other astrophysical uh, sources. <laughs>